Hey everybody, it's Chrissy Sawyer here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're a new visitor. Um, I felt really energized when I decided to come to camera and now I feel really nervous. So I have no idea what's going to come through. Um, I wanted to do a kind of roundup message for 2021 and maybe build a bridge into 2022 if that energy wants to come forward. And I thought I was gonna do an astrological reading, but there we are in an astrological soup between now and February. And it's feeling too confusing. There's too much energy to speak into. And it's also feeling like a distraction. It's also feeling like it's running interference to something that's going on underneath. That's what I'm tapping into and that's what's making me nervous. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay with it and dance with the energy and see what comes through. And for the last two days, this poem has been rolling around my head, which kind of sums up, well, for me, it sums up what I'm tapping into. So I'm not gonna do astrology. I'm just going to give you the guidance that the astrology is going to, it's almost like it's bringing in the energy of two worlds. So finding discipline to sit with the tension of opposites may, may be. Um, big picture is moving from external authority to internal authority. That's the big picture. And here's the beautiful poem, it's by Rumi. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. You must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. People are going back and forth across the door sill where the two worlds touch. The door is round and open. Don't go back to sleep. Okay, let's get rid of the notes. So I sat here preparing the space, tuning in, and randomly pulled five different decks, turned them all upside down, and the message that's there is profound. <laughs> so I'm gonna start there and see what comes through. Okay, so the first card that presented itself was trust. Okay, so we've got a new moon energy here. There's a lot of water energy around at the moment. I know I've been tuning into a lot of water energy. The Akash, the cosmos, the deep hidden self. It's weird actually, because for no reason at all, I put my uh, rainbow moonstone on the other day and I hardly wear it, um, but it feels very feminine. So new moon energy of trust, and it might be trust in that which you can't yet see, but sense. Trust in that which you can't yet materialize, but know. And you may not have the narrative to even speak that through. It just might be a deep knowing for now. <laughs> it's your knowing. Wisdom. And it's that higher wisdom that might be coming in from a place for which we do not yet have language. I've noticed actually in the last two or three readings, there's been a lot of uh, imagery of, I'm gonna call this mantling, because when a bird does this on the ground, it's usually to protect prey. It's called mantling, so it's shielding. And I really wanna speak this through because I spoke into shielding energy the other day and 
it wasn't met well. Let's just put, put it like that. It wasn't met well. But certainly within my collective are people who are knowingly shielding. They do not know from what. And this isn't dark ages, protect yourself. It's shielding, it's gestating and simultaneously pupating. You know when the caterpillar liquefies and it's like being given a newborn and you wouldn't do that in the middle of a shopping center, would you? you you'd shield and protect. So yeah, the wisdom of that is going to help you. Yeah, I'm just being reminded, one of the things I've done the most kind of November and December is, is to guide some of my clients, the more open clients, to build a bubble for themselves, a bubble of energy that acts as a filter for what they want to pass through. Love, love is the default. And so, yeah, I just really wanna kind of echo that call to wisdom. And the call to wisdom is gonna challenge us to be different, to disagree maybe, go a different path or, or go silent when your input is being awaited upon. You know, how people give you something, then they hang on your response. Having the knowledge within that actually what I've got within isn't gonna be met yet. And just moving to the silence of listening to that inner voice. I didn't see this card underneath that one. I can't make this up. Retreat. Look at the bubble. Look at this beautiful, perfect space. There's no noise or disturbance in here. It's just perfect. Peaceful. Retreat. Retreat. And getting into that soft, bubbly space is, is going to help you hear. Really, really hear what's coming through. I was sat journaling this morning and this blinding piece of insight came through, which I've captured. I don't know what to make of it yet, but it's new. It's really new. I can't even map to it. So keep your eye out for those energies because it might be that the chatty mind wants to come in, try and understand it. And when it doesn't understand it straight away, let it go. But we're mapping and remapping. And again, this goes back to how many times, in a, and when I say a noisy conversation, I am talking about Christmas. Christmas is full of noisy conversations with people you might not have seen for a while. And how often in that noisy conversation do you honor yourself? It's very personal. This reading is feeling very personal. It is a real, it feeling like a real gateway moment where the passing through the gateway has got to be made softly and alone. But not alone where there is that fear of being alone. Alone like empress alone, like daring to step into that fecundity. I did a, a, a reading for um, another organization as a Christmas message for them. And I did a, just a quick peep into 2022 and it, almost every card was abundance. It was just abundance that we can't even imagine. And notice where your mind goes because abundance isn't about the material world. It shows up in the material world, but it's about the abundance of personal freedom, the abundance to think the abundance to feel on your own terms. It's, yeah. <laughs> the abundance of liberation. I just want to say a thank you to all that guides me because I'm not having to work too hard for this. It's really helping me just get the mind out of the way. These cards are coming from the 
um, from the bottom of these five decks, it's, it's liberation. And I want to say thank you to the current astrology because I think it's running interference. I get as I gaze into this card, I get this kind of this coiling Kundalini, but it's really ancient, really, really ancient. Coming back up, and it's kind of it's the ecstasy of self. It's so I think it's dropping in to the seat of the soul. That's what's been happening since that eclipse. That December the 4th eclipse was colossal. And it's almost like the return of the soul self. In a, in a more embodied way. That's the fecundity, that's the richness. Once you are partnered, repartnered with your soul self. That's it. <laughs> And the last two cards I'll bring together because they do tell a story. So it starts with the round and round. And we can, if we so choose, keep going round and round the same narratives that have built the world in which we live. Or we can create a perfect storm, which is the courage to step into life, fully into life, soul fed, into life. Look at this, birthing the cosmic egg here. I've got to say my whole body is shaking. <coughs> Here's the portal lump. Here's the choice. And the choice is really to exit one life and enter another to kind of evaporate as the person you've known all your life living in this 3D reality. I'm not saying you'll disappear off the face of the earth. Well, who knows, we might, but. <laughs> and this is change. And I want to kind of link that one to that because this is coming in on that. It's almost like this is the echo of, of the work that's been done, particularly this last two or three years. It's been intense. To liberate ourselves from all that wishes to control us, which is the mental, <laughs> it's the noisy mental or the noisy insecure mental the noisy, insecure, competitive mental. I could go on and on. It's just noise, it's that's distraction, constant distraction from sitting in the seat of the soul in absolute stillness in your own world, in the world that you've built. Yeah. No. All right. What needs to come through now? Okay. Questions? How are you being called to step up and lead? I might say to step up and take the lead in your own life. 
to not be led, but to be led by soul. How? How are you being called? What does your sensory perception tell you? What odd thoughts are you with? Unusual feelings are you with? Take a break. There's that new moon again. <laughs> this is a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, which is a bit of a challenge, really. It's about giving in. There's an energy of just give in. But in the space, <coughs> But in this space, Chrissy, there's nothing to do exactly. There's everything to be, nothing to do. So take a break. I always ask the question, what's your relationship with rest? It's coming back round again. Where's that deck gone? Okay. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's go to these. I don't want it to be a long reading today. Um, it doesn't need to be. It's a very simple message. Um, and it's not my job to reveal what is hidden, I'm being told. And this is part of the change, is to not seek instruction from without. You know, when I make myself redundant from YouTube, my work is done. The less you know, the more you grow. Oh, wow. I like that. The less you know, the more you grow. So there's a real kind of nudge to go inwards. Spend time with the void in the not knowing mess. <laughs> Stop it. This is the inner power of discernment and discrimination. What is noise? What is true? You may not know to start with, but practice makes perfect. And the practice will be in your way. Your power is different. Your uniqueness is different. That's what makes it unique. Mm. So the message is to go within, to really go within for a while as you peacefully and purposefully step through that door into, I don't know what, liberation, freedom, <laughs> ecstasy, you know. This energy brings ecstasy, and it's the ecstasy of the uniting of self and soul, of corporeal self with seat of the soul, home. <sighs> wow. Yeah, absolutely. That's how this reading feels, feels very humble. There's no big noise. There's no importance it just feels very humble it feels like a song if Rumi could sing it would be a Rumi song don't go back to sleep and with that <laughs> and with that okay thank you my Christmas message to you is thank you for being here um, because every time you're here and every time you tune in you bring energy to the change Okay, you bring awareness to the, to the field, you see the field and that activates it. So you become a participant in change. I don't care about the numbers. I don't care about the likes. I love the comments, but if there were no comments, I'm just doing the work. Okay. I love that you're here. Um, I love that when I come to camera, I feel you guys and I can connect. 
Um, I wish you the most ridiculously peaceful Christmas. Um, I hope it's full of surprises and blessings. And snow. <laughs> and that's it, my loves. I don't know when I'll be back, um, but I will see you when I do. Lots of love. Merry Christmas. <laughs>